क्वेश्चन नंबर 146 फ्रॉम एवोल्यूशनरी पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू रिटेंशन ऑफ द फीमेल गैमेटोफाइट विद डेवलपिंग यंग एम्ब्रियो ऑन द पेरेंट स्पोरोफाइट फॉर सम टाइम इज फर्स्ट ऑब्जर्वड इन नाउ दिस इवेंट रिप्रेजेंट precursor of seed habit and you know that precursor of seed habit for the first time was observed in pteridophytes so our right answer to this question is option number 3 coming to the next one now in antirrhinum snapdragon a red flower was crossed with a white flower and in f1 generation pink flowers were obtained F1 generation when it is intermediate between the two parents you call this case as of incomplete dominance yes in antirrhinum flower color is an example of incomplete dominance when pink flowers were selved the F2 generation showed white red and pink flowers these three phenotypes they are obtained in the ratio of one to one this is phenotypic ratio choose the incorrect statement from the following this experiment does not follow the principle of dominance that's quite correct because it is case of incomplete dominance pink color in f1 is due to incomplete dominance yes when f1 does not resemble either of the parents this is case of incomplete dominance so here f1 is intermediate between two parents ratio of f2 yes just i have told you that ratio of f2 is one to one one by four red two by four pink and one by four white Law of segregation does not apply in this experiment. Law of segregation is universal law and it is applied here also. So, this is incorrect one. So, our right answer here is option number 4. Moving on to the next question now. Conversion of glucose to glucose 6-phosphate. The first irreversible reaction of glycolysis is catalyzed by. This question is from respiration. Now you know that glucose is a 6 carbon sugar and 2, 8 phosphate is added. Now this phosphate is added with the help of enzyme kinase because it is added to a 6 carbon compound. That's why enzyme which is involved here is hexokinase. So this is our answer. Now moving on to the next question. 